हेलो टू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वो आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो वेलकम बैक टू दी एस वी वी चैनल सो इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोज वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट वॉट आर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स वेर आर दे फाउंड देन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द फ्रेंडली माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड वॉट एप्लीकेशंस दे आर डूइंग इन अवर लाइफ वॉट आर देर एप्लीकेशन इन अवर लाइफ so in this video we are going to study about the harmful microorganisms or the disease causing microorganisms well there are many microorganisms which cause us so many different types of disease and that is what we are going to study as well as the preventive measures which we can take to prevent ourselves from being infected from those microorganisms or those diseases so let's get started then microorganisms can be harmful in many ways for example some of the microorganism causes diseases in human beings other animals and plants those microorganisms which cause diseases pathogens can be bacteria viruses protozoa or fungi these disease causing microorganisms or pathogens enter our body through the air we breathe the food we eat or the water that we drink it can also be shared by sharing infected injection needles so those microbial diseases which can spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air water food or physical contact etc are called communicable diseases here are some examples of the diseases caused by such pathogens as you can see malaria is caused by a protozoa known as plasmodium cholera and tuberculosis are caused by bacteria cholera is caused by vibrio cholerae and tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis ringworm and tinea are caused by fungus whereas aids common cold hepatitis b dengue fever and of course our current popular corona virus is definitely caused by viruses so students now what should be done to prevent ourselves from getting these diseases so there are many preventive measures that can be taken by us to get prevented from the spreading of these diseases like for example a person suffering from common cold should always cover his mouth and nose with a handkerchief or a mask like we are doing right now while sneezing so that the microorganisms do not enter into the air we should also keep a safe distance from a person having such disease frequently washing your hands are also a good way of getting prevented from the spreading of diseases we should keep our food covered to protect it from getting infected by flies we should also drink clean and safe water we should protect ourselves from mosquito bites by using mosquito nets over our beds while sleeping or while using mosquito repellent creams or sprays now some of the diseases can also be prevented by vaccination at proper time other than all the measures uh, above mentioned we can also use some of the techniques to improve our immunity like for example performing exercises eating healthy food or whenever there is any conditions which is not normal you can visit the doctor also maintaining oral hygiene is important 
and the most important thing is eating healthy food so students now i hope that you all understand what are pathogenic microorganisms what disease are caused by them and what, how are those disease caused as well as the preventive measures so the next topic that we are going to cover is about food poisoning preservation of food and the last nitrogen cycle thank you for watching the video and if you have any doubt you can ask through your means other than that uh, some assignment questions are there waiting for you all and hope you are having a good day so thank you all stay home stay safe bye bye